but so we see at these kind of levels here at the 110 level we're getting th these patients are only about what 55 percent as likely to die in other words we're seeing something like a 65 percent protective effect at the higher levels compared to the lower levels of circulating vitamin d um this is um really pretty strong findings uh, it could be that it causes uh, cell cycle arrest so the out of control mitosis that takes place in cancer could be arrested and it could induce apoptosis this apoptosis process is that cells that know they've gone wrong spontaneously commit suicide the lysozyme inside the cell is released and the cell just self-digests so that is increased by adequate levels of vitamin d thereby essentially auto-digesting, self-digesting uh, malignant cells. Inhibiting cell pro proliferation in several prostate cancer cell lines, so it stops the cells from over-dividing, because that's what cancer is, it's an out-of-control uh, cell division process. And it protection of prostate uh, epithelial cells from oxidative stress. There are plausible biological mechanisms for why this can work. We don't know exactly how it works, but there's plausible mechanisms that it can. So it's a reasonable thing to assume, combined with this empirical data that these studies are, are giving. It re we really do need to change national guidelines in the United States and the United Kingdom, where prostate cancer is the number one cancer, uh, unfortunately, in men. Very common. And now they gave 4,000 units, which is 100 micrograms of vitamin D uh, a day. Now, this is what I'm taking myself at the moment. I'll probably stop when the sun comes out more and I get more sunshine, but that's not yet in the north of England. So I'm taking 4,000 units of vitamin D a day, personally. That's 100 micrograms of vitamin D. And I take that with 100 micrograms of vitamin K2. That's what I'm taking personally. Can't tell you what to take, but that's what I'm taking. Now, a relatively small scale study, of course, because as we said, these aren't conducted by the pharmaceutical industry throwing $10 million a trial or more at it, where we would get probably more conclusive results. But the study was still done on uh, 24 out of 44 subjects. 55% showed a decrease in the number of positive cores. That's the number of positive cores on prostate biopsy. Or decrease in the Gleason score. Now, the Gleason score is how the, the histology is graded in prostate cancer. So a higher Gleason score basically means the cells are more undifferentiated, more out of control. Um, so vitamin D is stopping the progression of the Gleason score or even a de decreasing Gleason score, which is really remarkably good news. This is, this is just incredible. And in all the studies that we looked at, there was no adverse effects at all of giving supplementary vitamin D at these levels. No adverse effects at all. DoctorsToTrust.com Please share this video with loved ones.